Hello everyone and welcome back to the Spearhead cast. It's me, Matt. We have a 1v1 for you all here on Angleville again. Let's go for the players. We have Eugen or Eugen, I I think some call it, playing straight ready. out the gate as Royal Parachute Regiment with Hammer Specialization. Meanwhile, for the Germans, we have Robertus as Jäger Tactics straight out the gate. Looking for some Sturm Grenadiers to try and secure the front against the approaching British forces. We'll see how Royal Parachute against Royal Jäger goes. Oh, not Royal Jäger, just... Jaeger. Angleville is a very small map, so we're gonna see combat already within the first minute, as we can see. Pretty damn fast. We see some fighter stream pioneers coming up behind us. Unique, simpler, basic infantry squad available to you if you're playing as Jaeger tactics. And essentially operators engineers as well, so they're kind of like pioneers for the Wehrmacht in that, end. that sense. Can get some pretty unique weapons. And we have some actual Royal Parachutists coming out as well. First Airborne Division Paratroopers. Really damn good infantry. Some of the best you get, base infantry you can get in the game, I'd imagine, if you're playing as a Doctrine. They cost 380, while the Storm Grenadiers cost 300 as an example. It kind of tells you how much better they are. Bastion only is a good indicator of how skilled the troop is. The Fashion Pioneers will head north for us to secure the northern area. Here comes the Paratroopers. Well, arriving in their vanilla British sniper uniform, I believe. The, some kind of proto ghillie suit. And I am recording, I have to make sure my recording software has been a little bit annoying recently. So I need to make sure that that is working as it should. Because I had an incident where it cancelled out one of my recordings mid through by closing on OBS without giving me a warning. Pretty annoying that. I would like a warning of some kind if my OBS kind of, you know, just decides to stop all of a sudden and crash. I'm not sure how you would make that happen. Because it's very hard to do in a game like this where I actually have to check outside the window every now and then. Ooh. It was like the Kubelwagen went down and the Sturm Pine is not doing well against the Royal Paratroopers. Looks like they might get out of there by getting behind the building quick. And just retreat. Yeah, like that. You know, the Fashion Pioneers are uncontested with securing that flank. They just need to act on it, but it looks like the Paratroopers are coming back around. We also have a Tank Hunter squad out on immediately, which is a, generally a good choice. You can basically stop any German light vehicle very early on, which is something you generally want to do. And we just have a few firefights going on here on the fields. Now, so when we want an Angleville, it can either go very slow or it can be a very short match. It really depends on how the players act and how aggressive they are. That's the thing about playing on small maps like this. But I don't mind that all the matches are, are short. Like, as long as they're just decent enough length. It's enough for me, Billy. I just like to see good fighting. MD-34 rushing up here. And by Panzer, uh, Panzer Brigades. Ooh, not the best position to be in, I think. Uh, Millsbomb going in. MT-34 setting up. That's going to be the death of that Kubelwagen. And the uh, rifle section is getting out of there. Looks like the smoke cover from the wreck is, is protecting them. I don't know if the uh, paratroopers have made a move yet. We do see tech up coming out. And a GP for the paratroopers. Arrives with a big SK on top. Looks like it's going into ambush with some bushes, but it's gonna... It's already been detected, so I don't think it'll help that much. Now, the Fashion Pioneers on the open are not gonna do well against these Royal Paratroopers. We also have a Paratroop coming in, probably of the Paratrooper Captain. Or might just be an Assault Team. Ah, yeah, it's just an Assault Team, so they've just been Paratrooped in. This with like a Paratrooper... Paratrooping operation going on. And we are right in the middle of it. Let's see if the Waffen SS have, have what it takes to stop it. Probably somewhere in France, perhaps somewhere near the Belgian border. Who don't know? Who the hell knows? Could even be in the Netherlands. You never know. Could be where many places in Western Europe. Supply half -track is ready for orders. Here comes the first Svea Wehrmacht Schlepper. The big base uh, half track vehicles used by the Waffen at this spot. Or oh, like the OKV in the vanilla. Not a Kubelwagen coming out. Guess the Germans need their mobile weapons. 
I suppose having a mobile suppression platform is handy. The MD-34 is pretty uh, reliable in that aspect. Making way for the... But the Swehrwehrmacht Schlepper. Now, the problem is the Germans are not getting a fuel point at the moment. It's in British hands, so... They don't get that. They might be in trouble late game. They are fine. They are playing against British paratroopers. Which are not the most reliable when it comes to armor. Just like a schlepper is gonna set up here. Risky move, but it might work out. Better take out there. Looks like the rifle section support the paratroopers pretty well. But the paratroopers have to get out of there. Now, that's a lot of rifle fire coming their way. But the Germans are behind light cover, which is not gonna be enough against the British. Behind heavy cover. I think a prolonged range, the British might win that, but it looks like the British are ditching out. They don't want to deal with the Kuppelwagen coming up as well. Now the uh, fire team is inside this building with a Vickers Go. That's a pretty powerful machine gun for the British. It's going to be able to sort of cover that point pretty damn well for that building. Damned enemies trying to take a point from us. The Germans are securing this northern flank here, and they have set up their first uh, HQ structure. Which will certainly help. I'll allow them to get medical attention here and reinforce in the area. Tapper's pushing up. That's a pretty dangerous move, I'd say. They did kill the gunner, but they can just repair and get a new one. By applying some medical attention. Looks like we have a manpower manpower crap carrying out here for the Waffnesses. What does it say? Hmm, extra security alongside the supply line. Yeah, that's going to be very difficult to take. Scope Storm GVS being equipped on the Storm Gradius. Unique weapon upgrade available to you if you're playing as Jaeger. Pretty potent upgrade, actually, for the Storm Gradius. Because not only do you get two Storm GVS, they also have with Scope. Which is definitely very powerful. Ooh, Smoker. Oh. He's gonna get closer to throw a splendoring grenade? Oh yes. Looks like the paratroopers managed to dodge it. They'll get them back inside the building and they'll start suppressing them. Almost immediately, but I think the grenadiers will be able to take it. Yep, they are. That's gonna give the Germans a fuel point. That is exactly what they needed. You also have an Unterstrom for you on the field here. Basic low-level officer available to the Waffen SS. No officers out yet for the British. We're ready to move. We also have a anti tank gun coming out. Mines being laid here by the Germans. Looks like the Teller mine. That should only go off on tanks. I'm not sure it's going to still be good against the British paratroopers. That was moving up this other way. They're trying to flank the MG. With that, the paratroopers move in, but the MG-34 opens fire, mowing down the paratroopers. But they're starting to get shot at too. Ooh, rifle grenade going out. Good one at that. Basically killing them, which means that the heroes have kind of lost this flank. Officers nearby calling in artillery of some kind. Probably aim for the building. The Germans need to act fast, though. Lots of telemines going up here. Why, why is there all the telemines up here? That's not going to stop any uh, infantry. That's vehicles only. I'm pretty sure, anyway. I'll tell you going in. Lucky sappers. That's a sturdy building. Oh, and that's not good. The storm pioneers have been mowed down there. He probably thinks it's uh, an anti-infantry mine. Oh, that went off anyway, though. Jesus. Pretty big explosion from both the telemines. Didn't know a grenade would set them both off. The Germans need to focus on holding this flank at least then. Germans do have a few infantry up, but they lost the storm pioneers. Which is definitely a big loss. We have the second tier coming up though. We could see light vehicles coming out for the Germans shortly. But honestly, the situation is looking pretty bad already. Gun ahead. 
Yeah, he, he tricked the jeep there, I think. But an Undersum fear might not get out of that. But it was not a trick, actually. Oh, Instagram got the Undersum fear, that's not good. Yes, as far as Jaegers have been called in, though, elite squads available to the Waffen SS if you're playing as as Jaeger. No truck means up. The SS generally can do pretty bad in a small maps against very specialized commanders. And yeah, 1v1s can be pretty lethal overall. Needs to be very cautious. Another airdrop going out. Wafgrade killed someone there. That's another uh, assault team. Looks like the paradropping operation is still going on. Lots of British paratroopers are landing. Ooh, Thompson's being equipped to the assault teams. And captured MP40s. We're getting a lot of nice weapons here for the British paratroopers. As they move out into the fields here to secure some ground. Meanwhile, the SS Fashmiegas are arriving now. Very potent squads. And be equipped for either assault or holding actions. It really depends on what you want them to do. Half track also coming out for the Germans. Looks like it's gonna be a. That's a. That's a, an assault half track, I think, with the MG42. Here comes the other Fashmiegas. I think the SS Fashmiegas might actually have. Oh, are the British going to go for the trucks? Wouldn't surprise me if they do. That's very powerful. And yeah, the German trucks are already in trouble here. There's not enough German troops nearby to hold them. The paratroopers are very accurate with their Lee Enfields. Still now those fashion pioneers are very quick, in very quick succession. But the fashion fashion is now coming up. Alongside, the, alongside this... They do have the AC gun nearby, which took out the half-track immediately. Very good use of that, of that AC gun. Second half-track going out. But I think we might have an assault team coming up here with a gammon bomb, and that'll destroy it in one bomb, I think. If you can get close enough. And it's throwing. Oh, not, not directly on it. But very close. And then another, that's a smoke bomb, I think. No, oh, just a normal grenade. Didn't do anything. That grenade did something, though. Oh, it's an incendiary grenade. Didn't know they had white phosphorus grenades. Uh, the British paratroopers are pretty damn lethal. That's also the problem with the Waffen SS. You kind of want to have your buildings outside the base, but in a 1v1 map, it's safer to have them back here, mostly because of the distance. It's a very hard position to be in. And looks like the British paratroopers are really just doing a good job digging in now with a more pound, with more six pounders coming onto the field and another deck of building, which will allow them to get vehicles. We're gonna just pushing up with a scope stone give us. There's some good shots on the Jeep there. They've got to kill the gun with a few bursts. And they are also decruited. Very potent squad if you're playing as Jaeger. Fashion Jaegers are pushing up behind it, but they don't have any specialized weapons on them, so they're mostly just using Kar 98s. The Kar 98s and the squad has a storm giver. That's about it. Need to stay behind cover. Yeah, because here comes the British paratroopers on the flank. Uh, Germans have to be very cautious whenever they move. There might be a dead fashion maker though. Except they're shooting at the wrong targets. But it might still not be enough. Let's see. Nope, I don't I think these German infantry are gonna die. These storm grenadiers anyway. Fashion makers did get out of there, but these storm grenadiers I think is pretty much dead. Just a few more accurate shots, and... No, he actually got out of there. You don't want to get close to them, though. They have captured Panzerfaust, but they don't have the munitions! And he's still being suppressed. Now he's no longer suppressed. Well, very dangerous position to be in for the Germans here. And a Cromwell Mark IV is coming up, which will definitely end this match quickly. Because I don't think the Germans have any anti-tank equipment on them at the moment. 
And they will certainly don't have the munitions for Panzerfausts. This might be a very short match. I'm not sure what this half tank is going to do. Well, not anything now. Its engine block is gone. And the thing is, with Jaeger, I think he actually knows the combo is coming because he gets ready to intercept, I'm pretty sure. So he knows the combo is on the way if he listens. But he does have a little bit of a Panzerfaust now, and he's getting a Puma. I'm not sure he has anything that can really stand up to it. Now he does have 5042s now, which will start to secure some kills. 5042s are pretty potent, as you can see. That's because they have telescopic scopes. Just the Puma, but I don't think that's going to be enough. More paratroopers coming in. I am liking the constant paradrop operations going on. I don't think uh, Robert, uh, Robertus has anything that can stop this Cromwell now. Protect, uh, supported by the uh, paratroopers. Yeah, one shot from the Cromwell is enough. And now there's a high explosive shield, that might be the end of that truck. Yep. Yeah, not looking good for the Germans here at all. We see a pack 40 coming, but one paratrooper squad did go down. The Falschi Megas are pretty potent at long range with their FT 42s. But they will beat out the British paratroopers at long range if they have the FT 42s up. So, pretty potent. These guys don't have FT 42s though, but they're throwing a grenade. Destroying the MG. Not looking good, and they almost have enough for another high explosive, I think. But I'm not sure the pack is going to get out in time. Well, the pack will get out in time, actually. But he's going to have to protect that pack very uh, sincerely. Might have an AT gun, uh, high explosive still coming out here from the AT gun. Oh, yeah. That's a dead flash me, I think. And more power troop operations going on. Flash Megas got out of there. But here lands more paratroopers. And the Germans can catch a break right now. And here, recon operation going overhead. Mr. the British really showing off their air superiority today. And this little German holdout is not going to last for long, I'm pretty sure. Not at this rate. The British paratroopers are just securing everything. The Fashion Makers just don't have the equipment at the moment. More units are coming up here. Aiming for the pack. Good choice. They can take up the pack. The tank can move up. Now they are in a bad position because of the FT-42s and the scope scoping gewehrs. Yep, already killing them. Packs decrewed. Yeah, I think Robertus has lost everything here. There's even a glider coming in. The base is just sending everything in they have. And here it lands. A little bit of an aggressive landing. Actually, that's a pretty clean landing, all things considered. Holy shit, still has its wings. That's a very aggressive landing and very risky. Well, it looks like it'll pay off. It's the end of the match at this point anyway. A 
Yeah, GMs just don't have anything to stop it. Like, I'll say it to Rebels, it's impressive they are lasting this long in this situation. I suppose this just also says how powerful the Falsch are. Fire. But if they can whittle the squads down, they'll kind of be recovered because they, they don't have the truck anymore for it. He is ki killing a fair few of the bridges, though. I'm not sure the glider did exactly what uh, Eugen planned for. But once that truck is down, it's over. Yep, and it's gone. And there we go. Roberto surrenders after that. A sensible move, I, I, I'd say, because this is pretty intense. <laughs> no way you can make a comeback from that point, I think. I'll see you all in the next one, everyone. Bye-bye.